Welcome to another startup and complete car documentation. What we have here today is a 2000 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 LS regular cab sport side. This Silverado is painted in light pewter metallic. On the door panels you have storage areas and it does come with power windows, locks and mirrors. This LS has the graphite custom cloth interior. Bench seats, full manual seat adjustments. But now that we're behind the wheel, let's go ahead and start the engine. What we're looking at here represents the GMT 800 generation of the full-size Chevy Silverado and GMC Sierra duo of General Motors full-size pickup trucks. It debuted for 1999 and replaced the outgoing GMT 400 generation Chevy CK and GMC Sierra. Although some versions of the old GMT 400s did continue production for a few more years after that alongside the GMT 800s. The then all new for 1999 GMT 800 trucks featured more modern and rounded styling compared to the more squared box look of the outgoing GMT 400, also known as OBS generation trucks. For 2003, the Silverado and Sierra got a mid-cycle refresh that updated the styling a bit and added some new features and other subtle improvements. Overall, the GMT 800 trucks were produced in some form for model years 1999 through 2007. Also using the GMT 800 platform were GM's full-size SUVs of the era, so your Tahoes, Suburbans, Yukons, Escalades, and the like. New for 2000 was the addition of a driver's side rear door on extended cab models, and some extra power for half-ton V8s. As for the 2000 model year Chevy Silverado, your three trim levels were Standard, LS, and LT. Available body styles for 2000 were the regular cab and extended cab. Half-ton 1500 models like this one had three different engines to choose from, a 4.3 liter V6, a 4.8 liter V8, or a 5.3 liter V8. The 5.3 is what's powering this truck. Transmissions were either a 5-speed manual or a 4-speed automatic, but I believe 5.3 models are automatic only. Rear-wheel drive and four-wheel drive were your drivetrain options, as you'd expect. As for beds, there was the traditional fleet-side bed, which was available in two different lengths, but you also could have gotten what this truck has, a step-side bed, branded by GM as Sportside. Competitors for the Silverado 1500 back in 2000 were the Ford F-150, Dodge Ram 1500, and the newly introduced at the time Toyota Tundra. In Chevy's US 2000 pickup truck lineup, the full-size half-ton Silverado 1500 was slotted between the compact S10 and the three-quarter ton Silverado 2500. So in the instrument cluster, you have six analog gauges, your tachometer, speedometer, fuel gauge, voltage gauge, oil pressure gauge, and temperature gauge. Push this button to toggle between odometer and trip. The steering column houses the hazard switch. Got a four spoke design, leather wrapped steering wheel. There are grips all around the rim. 
And this is a tilt steering wheel. The parking brake is foot operated. Got your headlight switch, fog lights, cargo light, air vent for the driver, and your electronic four wheel drive controls. Right here is your high beam turn signal, wiper, and cruise control stock. Does have a column gear shifter. Tow haul mode button. So going down the center of the interior, you have an air vent in your passenger airbag switch. Right here is your radio head unit, has an AM FM stereo along with a CD player. All the controls for your single zone climate control, still ice cold by the way. Got three power outlets, lighter, and an ashtray or storage. And you have two cup holders. Like I said, the bench seat so you can sit a third person in the center. You can fold this down. Open it up to reveal some storage. Only the passenger sun visor has a vanity mirror. The driver's one has sort of a clip that you can hold things in place. Also a grab handle for the passenger. Got an open sunglass holder or storage area. And your overhead lighting. And there are coat hooks on the cab's roof. But now let's go ahead and roll down the driver's window and take a look at the engine bay. The driver's window is automatic down. Paint is in really good shape on this. This LS comes with these optional 16-inch five-spoke cast aluminum rims. Powering this truck is the Silverado 1500's top engine for 2000. That being GM's Vortec 5300 5.3 liter naturally aspirated V8. It's an iron block aluminum head overhead valve engine with two valves per cylinder. From stock, it produces 285 horsepower at 5200 RPM and 325 pound feet of torque at 4000 RPM. This engine is paired to a four speed automatic transmission with low gear selection, and this Silverado is a four wheel drive. Short bed models have a 20.8 gallon fuel tank and running on regular unleaded, EPA estimates for Silverados like this one are roughly 13 city and 16 highway. It has an independent front suspension and a solid rear axle with leaf springs. Stopping the truck are four wheel disc brakes.
As you saw earlier, the fuel cap is on the driver's side. Love these step side bed pickups, especially because these are unique tail lights for the step side as opposed to the regular bed, which is by far the more common one. Dual exhaust on this one. With the sport side bed, you get about 43.5 cubic feet of space. Anyhow, thanks for checking out this tour of this 2000 Chevrolet Silverado 1500. And as always, stay on the lookout for future tours.